Hey guys, this is uh, 123RC123, and before I start, just want to say I'm really sick, so uh, if I sneeze, cough, sniffle, just uh, bear with me. Uh, so for those of you who haven't watched my previous vi videos, um, this is how to set up an emulator. An emulator will be in no way like Blizzard's official servers. There'll be, sorry, that's my phone. There'll be barely any content at all. Um, it's just to kind of play around a bit. Um, and uh, for those of you who have watched my videos, this is very different, so it is worth a watch. Um, I'm using something called Moo EXT now, uh, no longer C Sharp Express, so it's much easier, it's much faster. Uh, so all the links will be in the description. First thing, very first thing, install Diablo 3. Second thing, install .NET 4.0. Both links, of course, in the description, so just follow them. And uh, it doesn't matter really what the order is, just uh, download and install both .NET 4.0 and Diablo 3. Then download Moo EXT, it's just a regular download, it's not an actual install, um, so you don't have to install it. And I've already downloaded mine and put it on my desktop, so I'm just opening it now, extracting it to the desktop, okay, you can put it anywhere you want, doesn't really matter. And uh, don't run it just yet, you want to open Notepad first, and paste the batch file stuff that I'm also going to have in the description uh, on uh, in a paste bin link. Uh, so just copy what's on that site and paste it here, and then go to save, or save as, then desktop or wherever, click the little drop down box here, all files, I'm going to call it copier.bat, that .bat is essential, you cannot uh, do this without the .bat at the end, so name it whatever you want as long as there's the .bat at the end, and save that, don't run that yet either. So mine's right here. Now open up Movie XT. It's the uh, little life preserver icon thing here. And uh, this should work. Oops, sorry. This should work with default settings, so you don't have to really change any of the settings. Uh, you can later. There's some pretty cool things. But for now, we're just going to leave it as it is. Uh, so then here on the top left, click the Mueg Updates tab. Um, I already have the compiles and stuff installed. But what you want to do, since it's your first time running this, is click the Manual Check button right here on the right. So click that, it'll check. For you, it'll download, it'll compile, and it'll tell you when it's done. Um, if you already have it, like I do, then I'll say sources is up to date. If you want to force an update at one point, uh, just click. Sorry, I'm about to. I feel like I'm having a burp, but. Mm, is it coming? Mm, 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 nope, it's not coming. Never mind. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, click the reset last commit button if you want to force an update. It'll totally forget which version you have. And then click the manual check button again. Uh, so sources are there, everything's there. Now you want to run the copier. This copies files from your Diablo 3 installation path to your um, Mueg folder. Um, so go back to the D3 launcher tab here. Just double check that your D3 game path is the right one where you installed it. If not, then browse it. The Mueg server path should be okay. It does not detection thing so just don't pay attention to that and uh, everything else I'll actually dive into in my next video which will be how to play on a multiplayer server or how to make one so yeah run your copier.bat wherever you put it oh sorry I completely forgot that that doesn't work what you have to do is actually right click it and do run as administrator so I'm going to cut the video here because this is going to take a little bit so I'll see you guys in like half a second Alright, hello again. Uh, so as you probably noticed, when your copier was done, uh, it just closed. That's completely normal. It's perfect. That just means it's finished. Uh, so now you're actually ready to play. Uh, so in the bottom left here in Moo EXT, it says play local. Just click that. And I'm going to cut this again because my computer loads Diablo 3 pretty slowly. See you guys in another half second or so. <laughs> Hello again. So um, this is the login screen for your username. Put in anything you want, as long as there's an at symbol in there. So I'm just going to do one two three at, and then password anything you want. I'll do one two three. And I'm just going to turn down the sound here. There we go. Uh, then click login. Once again, username and password can be anything you want, as long as the username contains an at symbol. 
So you might get this error, unable to connect to the service, error 3003. Uh, click OK, close Diablo 3, shut down the server, and just click click play local again. So I guess I have to cut out again. Um, this usually happens for me, uh, the first use of the MUEG server. Um, yeah, oh, actually, no, it went pretty fast this time, so I won't have to cut out. Uh, so yeah, just do it again. 1, 2, 3, at, 1, 2, 3. And see, now it's working. I don't know why it does that. Uh, so I'm actually going to stop the video here. I don't need to show you guys gameplay. I'm sure you want to figure that out for yourself. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for my next video. Uh, how to play and make a multiplayer server. Play, play Diablo 3 with your friends. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. I won't hate you for it. And uh, yeah, have a great Halloween.